Hi friends, welcome back to Learning Points YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the lazy loading into your Laravel application. Okay, so in this video, we are going to create a image gallery and we'll show some image and the image will be loaded through the lazy loading. Okay, so let's start. So let's create a controller first. So just create another tab and php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is image gallery controller right so just enter this and if you just go here you can see inside the app http controller that is image gallery controller okay so this controller is ready now we'll create a function so public function suppose index okay so this is my function and we will return a view from here so right here return view and here the view name is suppose gallery okay so we need to create a blade file inside our resource so just go inside the resource and inside the views just create gallery dot blade dot php okay so let's use a stone broiler template and just here is the title just write image gallery and inside the body just write body section okay so let's see how it's appearing so just create a route so just go inside the routes web.php and first of all we need to include this image gallery namespace so app http controllers so we just use this and let's add the class name of the controller so image gallery controller and then let's call this index function so just create another route that will be the get type route so by clicking on this we'll open the page so write route get and here just create a link that is gallery and name of the controllers image gallery controller then plus then the function name index okay so if we just go inside here we can see this page right so click gallery so body section okay so we will create a image gallery inside here so for this i need some little bit more beautiful design so i need to use the bootstrap so write bootstrap and just go to the get bootstrap.com and get started so simply just copy the css so just paste before the closing of head tag and copy the css sorry the js so here just paste here okay so js and css add a now i need to add the jquery cdn so just go inside the google and search jquery min js cdn okay so let's go to the cdnjs.com libraries and just copy this link so this is the link and here just paste before all the js right so js css added now we'll use the bootstrap class here so just to remove these things and create a section so write section and inside the section let's create a class that is the container class so in the i n e r container class and inside the container just add a row class that is dot row and inside the row we'll use the class that is the column md6 okay so we'll use these things so that in a single row we'll get two things okay and inside here we will just use our image for now i have just uploaded some image into the public images folder okay so when you will actually work on your project then you can fetch your image name from the database but for now i will use these things so i have named this one two three four five six in this way the 22 
so we'll load this 22 image so just to write image tag and data original right and give the source name so here the source name will be here just to write in the variable syntax right so use asset and where is the image that is inside the images folder so right here the images okay and then slash one dot jpg okay so in this way we'll write one two three four right so we'll need a loop so right here for loop so write for and dollar i equal to one up to the 22 right so we are using the 22 images so right here 22 and then the next things the increment operator so i plus plus right and close the for loop end for okay and we'll use this i inside here so how we can do this so just concatenate dollar i okay and here we will use the lazy load so there's a reason we need to use the lazy load cdn so just write here jquery lazy load cdn okay and just go into the cdn.js library and copy this and paste here okay and the next things we need to do we need to use the lazy load so i will use inside this image tag so here just create a tag that is the script tag that is script and close the script tag and inside here just use the document ready functions so when the page will be load we'll use this so document dot ready so this is the document ready function and inside this just create a closer function that is the function and here just use the dollar image right so image tag actually dot lazy load okay right so all are done now just go to the browser and refresh this page so here the unexpected token that is dollar so line number 15 so here just 15 line sorry we'll use the i here so i just missed this so now refresh this we can see the image is appearing so i need little styling here so that it will look good so just inside the style tag sorry before the head tag just use the css so right here style and close the style and inside here we will just use img and we will just use the height so i will set a default height that is 300 px and then the width so width basically 100 percent because we are using the boot stack column md6 so it will take this width good and i am creating a space that is the margin top that is 20 px okay so in every image we'll get some margin that is space right so just refresh this so we are getting all the images right so if we just scroll down then the image will be load okay actually we are using the local host host and the image is coming from the local directory there's a reason and it's appearing very first but we have a site that is learning points dot in and inside here i have used some image that's the same image i have uploaded so let's use this so here just write the image that is right here learning points dot in slash public so i have taken this image inside the public images slash demo and after that the image name so right here dollar i and then concatenate the extension that is jpg okay so let's see so just to refresh this page again 
and basically it is appearing from the live site okay so you can see it's loading slowly and when you are just scroll down we can see the image is loading slowly so it's basically the lazy loading so it will load when you will down scroll right so you can see all the images are loaded okay so in this way we can use the lazy load inside your Laravel application so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we're going to discuss about some more interesting topic and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day